they can reach out and touch it. After so many years in the shadow of their past, Leeds United are one step away from the big time again. Their return to the brink of that summit has been the work of one man. I think he's the best World prepared manager I've ever seen in my life. Marcelo was like my football father. We did a thing called murder ball. Toughest session I've ever done in my life. When you pick up the phone, you already watch seven games of Leeds United. I can speak about the 24 teams of the championship. On a sportsman's level, it's bad. I've never seen anything like this. He knows it's morally right. Devastation for Leeds United. Yet again, it's that idea of Bielsa being a nearly man. They run out of gas just in the home straight. For Leeds, it was amazing to have one of the great managers on the, on the world uh, in charge in, in, in their club. We are starting a new chapter in our life. Marcelo has chosen us. He has decided to chase the dream of bringing back Leeds United to the Premier League. Even if we will not stay long term, I think it will impact and it will do a dramatic change at the club that will benefit the club for long term. When he arrived at Elland Road, his impact was immediate. He would build a team not by buying players, but by working with what he had and improving them. The manager's come in and he's done very well with me. He's obviously, I want the best. I think just with the way that he makes us train 100% every day, tells us what we've done wrong and what we've done right and mostly focuses on the stuff that we've done wrong. He knew what position was best for me and knew you know, where he wanted me to play and I think with his style out, out the way that he's nurtured me into playing in that position, I think it's you know, been a massive help to me. Rosario in Argentina was where Marcelo Bielsa was raised and fell in love with football. He harboured dreams of playing for his favourite team, Newell's Old Boys. He is from a family of illustrious lawyers in Rosario. Bielsa tried to be a footballer and played to a, a reasonably high standard, but he, he realised fairly early that he wasn't going to be a world beater. So if he can't achieve as a footballer, let's achieve as a coach. And he discovers early on that he has a vocation for this, that he, he can be a, a teacher, he can be a, a developer of people. He became a coach at Newell's first with the academy and later with the first team. In two years, he would lead them to two league titles and the final of the Copa Libertadores. It was in a period that was so important for New Wales Boys, you know. We dominate the Argentine football with a different style, with a different philosophy. No buying players, if not to bring players through the academy. And that, of course, that was a was a massive successful to win in this way. Ricardo Lunari was one of many young players whom Bielsa brought through. Entonces, lo que él tenía de bueno era que él sabía visualizar cuáles eran mis fallas y cuáles eran mis faltas y cómo tenía que trabajarlas para ser el jugador que él necesitaba. El ojo que él tenía para darse cuenta rápidamente de cuál era lo, la falla que tenía cada jugador y tratar de, de corregirla fue lo que al final Eh, le dio el éxito de llevar a, a, a todos esos chicos a ser campeones por primera vez eh, en Newell. More established stars like Kili González would also benefit from Bielsa's coaching. Nos ayudaban la selección con él y estaban en Valencia en ese momento. Eh, es, es, esa etapa con él, yo fui el mejor extremo del mundo. Yo me sentí mucho mejor jugador en su pasaje con él que que en otros consigue sí, siendo parejo, con partidos buenos, regulares, malos, pero con él yo, yo sentí que competía desde otro lado. At Leeds, Bielsa's shown great faith in the younger generation. In his early years at Newell's, he'd scour the length and breadth of Argentina to recruit young talent. On one occasion, he and his mentor, the academy director Jorge Grifa, visited the home of a promising teenager. They arrive in between one, two o'clock on the, on the morning and they knock the door and they came to my room, my bedroom and 
I was sleeping and they wanted to see my, my legs, my mom, uh, it's covered, no, uh, my body and say, oh, what a legs, uh, football legs, no? It was very funny, no? They invite me to, to go to, to know them, to train with, uh, with the academy. And in two minutes, playing football, he said to me, come, sit next to me, uh, I don't need to see you more, play. And in two minutes, he realized that, you know, uh, can be a, a professional player. From his first game in charge against Stoke, Bielsa's leads offered something different, something new. An aggressive, high-energy football which threatened to overwhelm teams. It did make you sit up because it wasn't just that it was an, an impressive performance, it was an impressive performance from somebody who had, who had literally been in the country for about five or six weeks and had managed to turn a very mediocre mid-table lead squad into a side who, just in the, in the period of that 90 minutes, looked good enough to compete with anybody. Leeds fans have been treated to the same high-pressing, high-intensity style that Bielsa has drilled into every team he's coached. We are going to attack. We are going to impose our game on the opponents. They have no breathing space, no space to relax. This pitch is ours. But in Argentina, at the turn of the 90s, this approach was new. Ahora hablamos muy muy fácil, todo el mundo habla de la intensidad. En, el, en aquella época no se conocía lo que era intensidad de, de presión, intensidad de juego. Eh, él ya estaba con esa idea en la cabeza, por eso yo siempre digo que Bielsa eh, estaba 20 años adelantado a su época. He was always at the time a bit controversial in Argentina. He didn't want that old fashioned put, put, put your foot on the ball, pause, change of rhythm. He didn't want that. He wanted frenetic rhythm all the time. Work, 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 work. Hand in hand with that high tempo playing style are the relentless physical demands that he makes on his players. On a Wednesday we do the toughest session I've ever done in my life. We do a thing called murder ball, but we call it murder ball. He calls it football, where we play either five blocks or five minutes of just constant under mile per hour football, where if it, the ball goes out, you've got staff waiting at the side ready to throw a ball back in. Former players also recall rather punishing training regimes. Bueno, cuando cuando las sesiones de entrenamiento de de cualquier entrenador del mundo eran de una hora, una hora y media, eh, con Bielsa duraban tres horas. Esa buena, Cristian, más arriba. Ya cambiaste, Cristian. Arriba, colo. Esa. No se pasaba página, no se cambiaba de tema. Si el tema que se uno estaba trabajando o tratando de mejorar eh, no era aprendido a la perfección. Derby have accused Leeds of spying ahead of the match tonight. Leeds United head coach Marcello Bielsa has just admitted sending a club employee to spy on Derby County's training session. On a sportsman's level, it's bad, in my opinion. If we're going to start talking about culturally I did it somewhere else and it was fine, then that doesn't work for me. It did turn into one of the biggest controversies Leeds have had at Ellen Road for, for years. In the main, public opinion seemed to be against Bielsa. There was a general feeling that he, that he shouldn't have done it, that, to use a, a fairly awful phrase, that it wasn't the English way. The former Leeds manager, Don Revy, would compile detailed dossiers on the teams they were due to face. The depth of Bielsa's analysis is on a different level. Bielsa is an absolute obsessive. Uh, he wants to try and preview to capture every possible detail that could have an effect on what happens on the field. We uh, point out the chances to score, the goals, the half chances to score, and each segment of five minutes, which team dominates. I think his, his, his hobby is just watching videos of football games. Uh, he takes this, he has this giant library, he just watches game after game after game after game. Leeds encountered his obsession when they first approached him. He didn't pick up the call, we left voice message, and then the next day when he picked up the phone, he already watched seven games of Leeds United, so this was a good sign. That attention to detail was also evident in his early coaching career. 
<laughs> he make us to find information, uh, to do the homework, and to after to arrive one day and say, okay, explain how play or how was the game. But we didn't watch only what the journalists explained in the newspaper. In a point was so clever, and rather to go to for a shopping and to play PlayStation was to think in the on the game. Under Bielsa, Leeds have been a team transformed. And this flick, Shackleton, Alioski's right in. From Championship also rounds to one of the best in the league. That's a big, big thing for the manager as well. He never wants people to get comfortable. He always wants us to feel like we're working towards something special. Leeds fan Andy McVeigh is an amateur street artist in the city. He says the Argentines' impact has been inspirational. Bielsa has influenced me into doing it, I think. I don't think I'd be sat here now doing this a few years ago. I wouldn't have had the, the inclination to do it. I mean, he's changed the whole mentality of the place. He's brought positivity back. It's like we've gone from the dog and duck Sunday league pub team to Barcelona in a, it will, in a summer, he did it, in a summer. Derby happy the misery has come to an end. What a performance, what a statement, what excitement. There is building at Ellen Road. Second game, we beat Derby 4-1 away, and it was one of the best moments of my life for my son. He just looked at me and said, Dad, what is happening? <laughs> what is that? I went, I don't know, son. And he hugged me. He never hugged me, he's a teenager. Um, and so Bielsa has made my son hug me. I mean, that's, that's enough in itself, isn't it? I mean, what a man. It's been a hallmark of Bielsa's career, how his teams have embraced his methods and become a more powerful proposition. Argentina stormed their way into the 2002 World Cup finals and, two years later, won Olympic gold. He had the luck of being in important teams and of meeting with different nationalities. And the first thing they said was what it represented to play against Argentina. Players who said that to play against Argentina, that you pressure, that you are aggressive footballistically, that you try to play in a rival field que quiere ser protagonista, que te quiere ganar más allá de la, las dificultades que, que, que te aparezcan en un partido, eso era lo que no había dado Bielsa. His appointment as the coach of Chile was a significant success. In 2010, they celebrated a place in the World Cup finals for the first time in 12 years. But it was when he crossed the Atlantic to Spain that Bielsa made his most striking impact. In 2012, he led Athletic Bilbao to both the Europa League and Copa del Rey finals. Bilbao, they played such wonderfully refreshing attacking football, lit up the Spanish league. And it's not just the results. This is something which is very close to, to Bielsa's heart. It's not just what you do, it's how you do it. And that, that's captivating. That turns his fans, the fans of his club, into almost disciples for an idea. Bilbao went head to head with Barcelona and left a lasting impression on their coach. A few teams in, in the world, a few managers play the way Marcelo plays. They are incredibly aggressive and they are always in the movement. They attack with a lot of people, they defend with a lot of people. The commitment the players they have, I think, is the best well prepared manager I've ever seen in my life. Work ethic is incomparable. I know how is still now love in Bilbao. I know he's, he's a legend, an idol, an icon in Chile. I think we cannot deny how pleased or how enjoyable was Leeds games for the fans, Leeds fans. And, and the people cannot forget it. Marcelo Bielsa's brought substance, style and self-belief to Leeds United. Will he finally deliver the Premier League status they crave? His home is a modest one-bedroom flat. He travels to and from the training ground on foot. There's no denying that Marcelo Bielsa is a different breed. In his own way, 
He is a, a man of the people. And he also is a man who shops at Morrison's. He's a man who rolls up at the Bakers. He's a man who, who will appear at takeaways quite happily, who people spot regularly walking through the street. Um, Leeds did have him at Rudding Park, which is a you know, posh hotel on, on the outskirts of Harrogate. And, and he wasn't particularly happy there. All he wanted was a little bed sit, a little flat where he could do his analysis and, and be happy. El Loco, the crazy one, is a nickname that's remained with Bielsa throughout his coaching career. The El Loco nickname is not exactly uncommon in South American football. There are, there are, there are lots of types of El Loco. Anyone who's, who's prepared to watch eight football videos one after the other is not entirely sane. Anyone who's prepared to push himself as hard as Bielsa pushes himself in his coaching career, it, it, perhaps it's, it's not entirely sane. The former Leeds boss, Don Revy, was a superstitious man. On match days, he walked from the team hotel to a nearby set of traffic lights. At Bilbao, Bielsa would take precisely 13 steps each time he paced his technical area. At Leeds, he hasn't always been quite so predictable. Patrick Bamford's goal in training prompted this unexpected reaction from his delighted head coach. He wants to win but to win in the right way. Well, Leeds put it out. Oh, this is, this is, this is controversial. Click goes on, and he scores! And Villa will be fuming! When Leeds scored this controversial goal against Aston Villa, he told his team to let them equalise. The gesture would earn a FIFA Fair Play Award. I don't know how many managers would have agreed to do that. He realised that there would be questions asked afterwards if Leeds didn't allow Villa to score. I think he realised that deep down he wouldn't have been able to justify what had happened. Throughout the game, Bielsa is a man who's commanded respect. When he left his role with Argentina, he withdrew to his home in the village of Massimo Pass. It was here, in 2006, that he received a visit from an aspiring young coach. I will never forget how gentle, how kind, how everything it was with me when I was absolutely any anybody in the world football in terms of manager and and how he shared his uh, his knowledge. We we talk about football, not just football, about life and cinema because my friend works in cinema. So yeah, it was it was nice. I gather you took a few notes. Uh, too many. It was. Uh, was well, it was many, many, many things uh, just, but the people say always you kept, it's not necessary to write, it just, the important always kept in your memories. And a chance for Mario once more! He's done it! They could scarcely believe it. Devastation for Leeds United, who have been magnificent all season. The promotion which Bielsa had pursued from day one had somehow eluded them been through a situation that we never thought we'd be through. You know, it was a tough, tough situation for us. We were doing so well throughout the season and then going 1-0 up in the first leg. It's hard to, you know, think about them situations, but, you know, they happen. Yet again, it's that idea of, of his teams, of Bielsa being a nearly man. It's a fantastic journey, but they run out of gas just in the home straight. Falling short has been a feature of Bielsa's career outside of his native Argentina. O sea, si uno hace un recorrido por su carrera, los, los títulos que logró con Newell y con Vélez eran en campeonatos cortos. Lo que yo creo es que como, como es tan exigente lo que él pide, si hubieran sido los de 38, no sé si la parte física o la parte psicológica del jugador hubiera eh, sido tan fuerte para seguir aguantando otras 19 fechas. Argentina went to the World Cup in 2002 as one of the favorites, but they went out in the group stage. Some felt that Bielsa should have altered his tactics in the must-win final game. Puede ser, él en un momento creo que lo reconoció que que bueno, cada uno tiene su idea, su esquema y, y a lo mejor muere con su idea. Eh, más allá que seguimos trabajando juntos, pero él tiene su idea y la que le dio tantos resultados. In 2015, his Marseille side were flying high at the top of the French league, but would fade to finish fourth. Athletic Bilbao ended a hugely promising season by falling short in two cup finals. 
he does put such physical, mental demands on his players. And in the home straight, Bilbao ran out of steam. When Leeds missed out last season, he was widely expected to leave. He'd been a hero at Newell's, yet he still walked away from the club which is close to his heart. Yo creo que él notó que, que nos había exigido demasiado y que había ya el, club, el grupo le había dado demasiado a él. Me parece que es muy parecido a lo, a lo que después sucede en la selección argentina. Cuando él llegó el momento, después de ser campeón de los Juegos Olímpicos, dijo, no tengo más fuerza para continuar. He resigned from his roles with Marseille and with Chile over disagreements with his employers. He left Lazio after just two days. If he can't trust the people that he's working with, if he can't trust the owners and directors, he doesn't want to be there. But that's Marcelo Bielsa. He doesn't need it. He works because he loves what he does. And if he doesn't love what he does, well, for, for any reason, he doesn't need it and he'll walk away. For a coach of Bielsa's stature, silverware has been in surprisingly short supply. In a 30-year career, he's won just four major titles. Give him one of the best four or five teams in England. Give, give, them, give him Barcelona, Madrid, or... I won a lot of titles because I was in a big club. And at the end, there is a price more important than the titles. Titles is just numbers. Is that what do you give or leave to the player to work with? And, and there's no one player, there's no one team that cannot admit. All of them, they were better persons, they were better players. And that is the best trophy you can get as a manager. Will Bielsa be successful this time around in Leeds' latest push for promotion? Since the restart, he's been a master tactician, changing the team during matches to claim crucial results. They're closing in on the Premier League place that he was hired to secure. It is down to his total commitment to Plan A, his complete commitment to sticking to the programme. They've needed single-mindedness, but they've needed it to be allied with some real top-quality coaching ability. I don't doubt that as promotion comes, but also in the years further down the line that this will be seen as Bielsa's success. Everything that he inspires, it would be great to see him drag Leeds over the line. And it, it, it would, I think, be, a, be an excellent achievement because his Leeds team would not only be feared, I think they'll be admired. In South America and West Yorkshire, the impact and influence of Marcelo Bielsa has been immense. Y en Rosario, en la, en la, lo que es la parte de la, de la gente de Newell es como, como lo máximo que pasó por el Newell. Tal es así que, bueno, al estadio Newell le, le pone Marcelo Bielsa porque eh, para mucha gente de aquella época que vivió la transformación de Newell de ser un equipo que podía ganar alguna vez algún campeonato a ser un equipo que se le plantara de igual a igual a cualquier equipo eh, en cualquier cancha. I'm already mourning the day leaves anyway, you know, because it's... I don't know how I'm going to cope without him. Um, but I, I think we should just make him an honorary member of the city and lock the gates and never let him go, basically. Do you know what I mean? But what a journey, what an adventure it's been. It's been incredible. At the Newell's Old Boys training ground stands the Hotel Jorge Grifa, purpose-built accommodation for the players. The £2 million facility was personally funded by Bielsa. He wanted to give something back to his beloved club. What he's given to the game as a whole has been invaluable. Bielsa is such a name because he's inspired so many people, because he is a, he is a, a Pied Piper, and he plays such a lovely tune. The most important is not the trophy that he won, it's how he changed uh, a club how he changed the life of the players, how he helped the, the player to become a person and, and coaches. Always I feel oh, that massive respect. Marcelo was like my football father. In that period, all the players that we were with him there, today I think all our managers, with different style, with different ideas, but of course that he made us to love, you know, our, our shop. At the end, what we want is be love. When you go home and you get a message, um, a phone call or a, a moment, 
and you feel that uh, you give something special for them, that is the best title, bigger than the Champions League or the Premier League or whatever. Beloved is more, the most important thing. And I think Marcelo has that more than any other manager in the world.